Jessica Barton for Power Auto Media. Something I've seen a lot of are people that want to modernize and upgrade their classic vehicle. I'm in American Racing Headers booth, joined by Nick Filipides, and let's talk about some of the headers and exhaust that you guys offer for classic cars. You know, with all our with our involvement with the late model stuff for all these years, about two and a half years ago, we started doing the classic stuff. Last year at SEMA, we were able to you know, come in and show our, some of our big block Chevrolet stuff for the early A-body uh, GM cars. All well, this year, we've continued and got, gotten that process going with, uh, with just more products for the early A-bodies. But more importantly, um, we noticed that the LS swap was as just, you know, just the popularity of that has just really gone off the charts. So, so this year we, we, we developed three new systems, one for the A-body, 64 to 77 A-body uh, GM cars. Uh, we already had Gen 1 A-body uh, LS swap headers, now we have them for the Gen 2. And, it, and the process is just going to continue to happen. We're really excited about that because you know, the LS engine is just it's an amazing engine. So what are the popular vehicles that you guys are seeing people are wanting you to make headers for? The 64 to 77 A-body cars, red hot for LS swap. Um, of course, the Gen 1 Camaro, which we already had. And this year, we, went, we built them for the 70 to 81 Camaros. Uh, as we speak, we're doing a C3 Corvette with LS swap. And um, I mean, it's just going to go on and on. Um, oh, and we just did the uh, Fox Body Mustang. So with the LS swap, because we're getting phone calls for that. Sounds good. So what are the guys getting when they get these upgrades? Is it power? Is it sound? Or is it both from you guys? Well, you know what it is? You're taking you're taking an engine that never belonged in this chassis, and now, now you got to build a header for it. So, I mean, our goal is always to make horsepower. So when we develop our products, they're always long tubes. Uh, we always you know, take into consideration all the space that the chassis gives us, and we build the best header we can. We offer it in multiple sizes so we can accommodate all different power levels. Awesome. And what about the materials you guys are using? Well, everything was, we've always done has been stainless steel, and, and we are a 100% U.S.-made company. We don't outsource any Thing. And that's never going to change. You know, all the all the great features that got us here are, are in all these new systems that we're developing, and the process is going to continue well into 2014. We're going to slowly hit on other applications little by little. Well, let's talk about installation for these guys. A lot of do-it-yourselfers at home. Are these headers easy to install? You know, it depends on the vehicle, but realistically speaking, uh, you know, at the end of the day, is you know, part of the design process is well, how easy is it to put in? So yeah, so we, you know, yes, we want to make horsepower. You know, yes, we want to use a, a very, very high quality material, but it, it still has to go in a car and it has to fit. So, and, and it's a bit of a chore because some, a lot of these cars are older, you know, but we take that into consideration when we're designing stuff. You know, we also, you know, we also think, oh, well, what, what transmission are they going to put? Are they going to have an automatic? Or, you know, we, we take all those variables and we try and develop something that has the least amount of compromises. So that's nice. So really, there's so many different combinations these guys could really have. I mean, when you're putting a different power plant into a car, anything could happen. And you guys have sat there and kind of gone through the book and made something for everyone. Well, you notice you can't, you really can't have everything for everyone. It, it, it's, that's virtually impossible. But, you know, as far as the LS swap is concerned, I, I think we got it covered really, really well. I mean, you can go to the junkyard and get a 5.3 and drop it into one of these cars. Or you can just build, you know, you can build a 500-inch tall deck. You know, we, we can accomplish accommodate those guys too. So as far as the LS stuff, I think we got it covered pretty well. Awesome. Well, again, all you guys at home, there's a lot of those LS guys out there. You got to check out AmericanRacingHeaders.com.